As a game audio engineer, our most valuable resource is our hearing. But unfortunately, not all the players who consume our product are afforded this luxury. So in an effort to be as inclusive as possible, we need to find a way to accommodate. And so in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to implement subtitles. Now you might be asking yourself, is subtitles really the job of the audio engineer? And the answer to that is it really kind of depends on the studio or the team that you're a part of. I will say from my personal experience when I was working at EA, working on Madden 19, subtitles in the cinematics was part of my tasks. And inside Unreal Engine, the subtitles are part of the details in the audio file. So that's why we're gonna be taking a look at it. So let's get started. All right, so inside the engine, um, just so you kind of have an idea of what we're going to be doing. Uh, we've got this uh, pirate ship here and inside our captain's room we've got our high poly pirate hanging out in his low poly world. These are just assets that I slapped together uh, for the sake of the tutorial. But we've got six dialogue lines and the way that I want to set this up, and you can set this up however it fits for your project, uh, but basically I'm going to set up a trigger box so that when our player enters this area, we get one of six dialogue lines. And since we're talking about subtitles, along with the dialogue lines, we're going to get the subtitles to pop up in accordance to whichever dialogue line is ran randomly selected. So like I said, I've got six, uh, they're just very generic um, pirate dialogue lines that I pulled from Epidemic Sound. And just to kind of give you an example. All hands on deck. Arr, so, you know, just really generic pirate dialogue. And so if we were to click on this, we'll do the first one here, the all hands on deck. And if we scroll down, you're going to see a section for subtitles. Now, I'm not going to go through every option because, again, these are going to be dependent on, uh, on your project. Um, for example, this very first one is a mature bullion and it is exactly what it seems like you know whether the this subtitle contains any mature or adult content ours don't so we won't be using it uh, and then you have things like your manual word wrap uh, your single line subtitle priority so uh, you can add subtitles to any audio file, whether it's dialogue, music, sound effects, you know, in accessibility options, you know, we, we do want those players who need this type of assistance to kind of fully know what's going on. So in the grand scheme of things, you're probably going to want to put subtitles on everything. Um, so if you've got music playing and the player enters the world, they might see a little text that pops up that says like bracket, you know, music, pirate music, um, tropical music, whatever the case may be. Uh, if you've got sound effects, whether the cannons are going off, you know, you can have cannon, cannon boom or whatever. Uh, the subtitle priority though is like, if you've done anything with priority in other sections of Unreal Engine, it oper operates the same way. You know, it, it lets you set which subtitles are gonna have priority over others. So if music's playing and then all of a sudden dialogue pops up, you don't want the subtitle just to say music. You want the, the dialogue subtitles to take priority over that, and that's how you would set that. Really what we're gonna be focusing most on is just the subtitles here. And uh, we can add an element. And we have two options under here. We have our text, which is the text of what that subtitle is, and time. Time is the duration that it's gonna be displayed on screen. By default, it's set to zero, so that subtitle will be there for the entire duration 
of whatever that audio file is. If you have, you know, a three minute piece of music, you don't probably don't want subtitles on the screen that just say music for three minutes so you can change the duration there. So this first dialogue line is all hands on deck. And so we're just gonna go ahead and type that. Um, this will allow you to insert punctuation as well. So, you know, you can, whether it's exclamation point, if it's a question, you can have a question mark, period, for the end of a statement. This isn't a grammar lesson, but you get the idea. And so we have our text that says all hands on deck, and we can save that. And just for the sake of demonstration, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here to our level blueprint. And for now, I'm just gonna put this on a key press. So we'll do one. And then we're gonna add our sound. So when we come in here, I'm gonna hit the one key. All hands on deck. And now you can see at the bottom of the screen. All hands on deck. We have that subtitle. Now, by default, the default um, fonts that are used in the engine, they're relatively small, they're relatively plain, but we can change that. So inside our content folder, uh, I'm just gonna make another folder and call this fonts. And in an effort to stay thematic, I do have a pirate uh, themed font that we're gonna go ahead and pull in. And by default, the font size is nine. Uh, we can bump this up as high as we want. Uh, I found that anything over 50 kind of clips off the edge of the screen. Uh, so we're just going to call this 25 for now. And uh, if I hide my camera real quick, uh, you can see down here at the bottom that that's the, the font size. Uh, like I said, anything over 50, though, really, we start clipping off the edge of the screen. I'm going to call this 25, and we're going to go ahead and save it. And now what we also have to do is we have to go into our project settings. And up at the top, we're just gonna search for subtitles. And we have a, a section for subtitle font. Uh, we also have the ability to have them on by default. Uh, you can set this to off and then use like your UI widgets and things like that to allow the player to turn them on if they want. But we're just gonna keep it on for now. And we're gonna go ahead and select our font. Now you'll notice down here at the bottom, it does say that we have to restart the engine in order to apply this. So we're gonna go ahead and do so. And so with our engine restarted, I'm gonna go ahead and hit play again. And if we walk in and I hit that one key again, all hands on deck. All hands on deck. You know, see that we, we still have our subtitle and now we have that font that we decided to use. Now, if you want to use the default font that comes with the engine, uh, you can most certainly do so. And that is gonna be found, uh, you will need to enable the engine content which is down here in your settings. So if you don't see the engine folder in your, uh, your content browser, come up here to settings, show engine content, and you can just do a uh, filter under user interface for font and font face. Uh, this is gonna bring up all of the, uh, the default fonts that are within the engine. But since we imported our own, uh, we're not gonna be using these. So what we do need to do though, uh, I'm gonna reset these filters. Since we, we went ahead and did the, 
the text for the subtitle for the All Hands on Deck, I'm just gonna go through real quick and set up uh, these other five off camera. All right, so off camera, I went ahead and did the subtitles for the other five. And like I mentioned, I wanted to use a trigger box instead of the, the key press that we set up for demonstration. But I haven't set the trigger box itself up yet. So what we're gonna do is inside our audio folder here where we have our dialogue lines, uh, I'm using this folder you can put it wherever you want, but we are going to add a sound cue. And I'm sure what most of you are thinking is, Mr. Sound Effects Guy, why are we using a sound cue instead of a meta sound? And that is because there is a huge misconception that sound cues and meta sounds are the same thing. They are not. Um, the subtitles for the dialogue lines will come through if we're using a sound cue. They will not if we're using a meta sound. And uh, if I sat here and tried to explain the reasons why, this video would be very, very long. And um, so there, there's a lot of technical stuff that goes into why sound cues do this and why meta sounds do that. And truth be told, I don't know the ins and outs of every little nuance. Um, you know, Dan or Aaron, if you guys wanna comment down below and uh, go off on a tangent and explain all that, please be my guest. But for now, uh, we're gonna set up a sound cue. And I'm just gonna call this VO underscore pirate. And we'll go ahead and open this up. And get my screens in order. So here are all six of our dialogue lines. And I'm just gonna randomly grab them. And so with our sound cue set up, we're gonna jump back into our level blueprint. And uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this real dirty, real basic on begin overlap. We're gonna play a sound. And we're going to grab that sound cue that we just made. The end. And so now with our trigger box set up, and we'll keep hey, matey. entering this trigger box. All hands on deck. The rest you scallywags. Walk the plank. There she blows. Hey, matey. And so you can hear that and see uh, that because we set those subtitles up in the details of their individual audio files, regardless of what order that we're pulling them from in our sound queue, we're going to get the correct uh, subtitle for whatever audio files playing. All right, guys, so that's gonna wrap things up for this video. Hopefully it was something that you found informative. And like I had mentioned, you know, as game developers, we, we want to build ways to make an all-inclusive gaming community. And accessibility options are just one of the many ways that we can do that. And you can certainly take this further and develop it you know, to meet your project needs, or there are also other accessibility options uh, versus subtitles. For example, Forza Horizon 5, uh, they actually have a little screen that pops up in the bottom corner that has someone doing sign language to the dialogue that's happening on the screen. And so we just, we wanna to bring together gamers and, and give everybody the ability to enjoy our content. And hopefully you are enjoying this content. If you'd like to be a part of the Sound Effects Guy Discord server, you will find a link in the description below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. And uh, if you'd like to help support me on Patreon, uh, you can do so by clicking the card right here on your screen.
Until next time.